What is going on, Kimbo Corporation? Welcome back to another Bubby Eats video. If you're new here, my name is Bubs, and I'll be your food guide for today. We are just hanging out in One Loudon, uh, one of the nicest shopping centers in Northern Virginia. And today, we are going to be checking out Hot Pot Legend. Does Hot Pot Legend live up to its name? Will it be legendary? Stay tuned to find out. <sighs> All right, so we are now inside. We were informed of a couple things. Apparently, the menu has changed as effective of March 4th, so that was a few days ago. Basically, the menu just increased in price a couple bucks, so I don't really think that's a huge deterrent, but it is something to keep in mind for those of you who are money conscious. Please tell me if I'm in focus in the comment section. I can't see from here. I think I am. I'm not sure. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Anyways, here is the menu for Hot Pot Legend. Uh, basically, we got step one, choose your pot. You got beef, chicken, pork, lamb, veggies, seafood, custom. Step two, pick the broth. They got a bunch of different options. I'm actually surprised. I thought that it was just gonna be like the Sichuan here and then the, uh, like a pork or, or beef kind of broth. But anyway, step three, noodles or rice. You got some selections of udon, rice noodle, ramen, white rice. They also got a bunch of appetizers that you can get. Uh, apparently with the all you can eat, there is like a free appetizer that comes out. So I'll definitely be checking that out as well. And uh, on the back, here's the all-you-can-eat menu. You got the broth bases, the vegetables options, the meats, the tofu, the others, seafood, noodles, and rice. Some of these will, of course, have uh, extra cost to them. So the uh, wonton six pieces, for example, is an extra $3. Not sure if that $3 is like a one-time thing or if that $3 is like every single time you order it sort of thing, uh, I'll find out for you. But anyway, you have options of personal, a big pot, the duo pot, which is kind of like a standard kind of thing that I always get, or a trio pot, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with the duo pot today because I want to try the Sichuan, and I want to try like a beef kind of broth, or maybe a pork broth, probably a pork broth. The trio pot, um, as interesting as it might be, I think I'm gonna stay away from that Google Chrome looking thing. So anyways, uh, for hot pot, there's actually like three things that I like to look for personally. So number one is going to be the cleanliness of the broth. So a good hot pot to me has very clean broth. It's got nice kind of mouth feel when you, when you drink it. So a lot of times you'll go to like a cheaper hot pot place and their broth will be super ridiculously fatty. And that's just like a turn off for me. Some people might like it, well, for me it's, not really, that's kind of a miss. Number two, the broth itself has to be really nice and milky. It's gotta have that milky bone umami sort of taste. I don't want it to taste just like meat that's been stewed in water. I think if you've been to Hot Pot before and you haven't been to a really good Hot Pot before, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Number three applies to the Sichuan kind of Hot Pot. And for that, it needs to have that actual peppercorn heat to it. I don't want it to be just be like spicy and oily, like they just put a bunch of chili oil in it. I want it to have that nice kick that basically is like a donkey kick straight to your sinuses. If your nose is not running immediately when you're drinking, you know, that Sichuan hot pot, then it's not really a good Sichuan hot pot in my opinion. I'm gonna be waiting for some of my friends to join me for dinner today and uh, we're just gonna take a look at the menu, figure out what we want, and I'll just be showcasing some of the things that I find to be quite good. As you'd expect from a hot pot restaurant, the sauce station is quite robust here, featuring all of the usual condiments like soy sauce, peanut sauce, chilies, garlic, and the like. Feel free to mix to your heart's content if you're feeling adventurous, and if not, I definitely recommend you ask the service staff for their recommendations. All right, well, we have got our soup base. It's arrived. Here we got the pork bone broth and then we got the Sichuan spicy broth. This is also a pork base. I think you might be able to change it, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure you can change it though. But basically there's different levels of the spicy base. You can get like a mild, medium, regular, and then like extra spicy. So I also made my own uh, sauce. We're gonna give it a little little test run here though because I honestly the one thing I'm bad at is making hot pot sauce I've never seemed to really like succeed this is Tina's version 
this is my versions. So I'm gonna give both a little taste test and just find out like which one tastes better. Am I so bad? Yours better. It has more flavor. <laughs> they also came with appetizers for the table. Here's just like some, some spring rolls, they said. So we got a spring roll. This is one of the two appetizers that come with it. So let's give this a little try and see how see how it tastes. Right, dip it in the sauce. Mmm. Good. Yeah. Like actually though. Yeah. I'm surprised. I don't know why. Damn. It's really good. <laughs> what do you mean actually? I'm actually surprised. It's, it's actually good. really good. Ooh, our. Uh, our items, the first round of our items have come out. So we've got like tons of like different meats and stuff, vegetables, fish balls, shrimp balls, all types of balls, all of the balls. All right, so when they bring out the items to you, you actually get you like your own little cart thing. So we got some cabbage and lotus roots on here. We got some meat down here, which is nice. And these are the Fujo balls. Uh, I think, is it pork on in the inside or is it beef on the inside? Fish. Oh, is it fish on the inside? Yeah. It wasn't under the fish category. It wasn't, then it's just meat. It was under the meat category. I don't know. Well, we'll find out, but these are all the different things. Ooh, and here's our brisket. Look at that. This actually doesn't look like it's been frozen. It looks kind of fresh, so very excited for that. I'll hand that over to you. Oh, it is frozen? Yeah. All right, we're sticking all of the meats in the broth. All right, so why don't we go ahead and give this broth a taste test. Oh, no, the vegetables though. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Did you guys want napa? Yes. That is nice, nice and clean. Mm, that's really good. Wow. Of all the three things that I talked about earlier, uh, both of these, you know, get a check mark. They definitely pass. After trying out several of the items off of the all you can eat list, I can certainly say that Hot Pot Legend is an incredible value. The fish balls, fish tofu, and fujo balls were incredibly savory and perfectly held on to the flavor of the broth. I haven't seen many hot pot restaurants have such fresh seafood either, as the crawfish had no hint of mushiness to the meat. Each one was just as tender and delicious as the next. My next favorite thing about the meal was that when refilling our pots, the service staff used hot broth base instead of hot water, which is a definite good sign that this place really does care to deliver an excellent experience. I'll leave you all with one last tip for those of you who might be new to hot pot. As the meal goes on, be sure to scoop off some of the fat from the top of your broth. This fat mainly comes from the meats that you cook in your pot and can leave a fatty film that may impact the overall mouthfeel of your soup. While this may not be a problem for some, myself included, it can definitely be a turn off for those of you that aren't a fan of greasy food. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button to appease my algorithm overlords. Don't forget to subscribe for more of my content, and remember, stay hungry.